We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about all the different issues from the Oculus Quest version 17 update. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K, and first of all, I just want to thank you because we have reached the 2,000 subscribers on the channel. So let's do a little dance. Ooh. 2,000, oh, oh, oh. 2,000, oh, oh, oh. To, to, to. 2,000, oh, 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 oh. So thank you very much. But today we're here to talk about how Oculus Quest version 17, honestly, I feel like my Oculus Quest has broken down to pieces and shattered into a million pieces of glass, sand. I don't know how you describe it, but there have been a lot of issues, not just by myself, but also by the community. So let's explore the issues that have been going on because perhaps you have also had issues. And if you have, leave a comment below. So personally for me, I have noticed that in the last few days since May 29th and today we are June 3rd, every time that I plug in the Oculus Link cable, which is a USB 3.0 cable, the anchor cable with the cable creations extension, well, my Oculus Quest just doesn't recognize the cable and I have to plug it in two times, if not three times before the Quest shows the unable Oculus Link panel inside of the headset. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that every time that I launch a game, especially from Steam, include, oh, actually not just Steam, also Echo VR, especially Echo VR, but Blade Runner. And also yesterday I actually purchased Arizona Sunshine at a whopping 63% discount from Steam. Well, what basically happens is after about 10 minutes of gameplay or, five, or 15 minutes of gameplay, it will completely freeze The entire headset system will freeze completely, but the game is still working, it's still running on the PC. So I have to restart my headset like so many times so that I can play a Steam game. And you know, Echo VR, it has happened a couple times too. Now, the other thing that's occurred using the Oculus Link for me personally is that, especially with VR Chat and Echo VR or any game that has a lot of a social aspect to it and people are talking and you know you have to use a microphone there's a lot of crack crackling sounds i just can't hear it makes me mad and i just want to take my quest and i'm not going to do it but it just makes me mad so here are some of the other issues that apparently have been reported by the community Mariano Zidi says he has a lot of standby issues. Mike Abernathy says he has to restart his quest constantly. Paul Kovar says that he has been experiencing a lot of stuttering and also quite a lot of noise within the speakers. Chris Nude says that for Beat Saber, he wasn't able to install the update. He actually had to delete it and then reinstall Beat Saber. Funny enough, I have the exact same issue with Tetris Effect. The update is stuck and I'm not able to updated whatsoever and it's just 45 megabytes it's only 45 megabytes like you should take a nanosecond to update ah I want to tear my hair out when that happens too mark arnold says that he keeps losing the connection of his touch controllers and his screen keeps turning off all the time ali k says that he gets a lot of lagging issues when playing box vr now zach livingston also says he has a lot of sound issues and he has to keep restarting his oculus quest david mcahanan says that he keeps losing the guardian every time that he takes off his headset and then has to restart his quest or wait five minutes each time. Paul Noy says that his quest keeps freezing and crashing and he has to rust restart it too. Drew Lake says that when he opens up big screen he gets a lot of stuttering issues now and also it freezes and crashes which probably means he has to restart his quest as well. So very similar to me when I'm using Echo VR or any app on Steam like Arizona Sunshine or also Blade Runner. Tony Verbeek agrees on this. Also, he has the same issue and he also loses the touch controllers from time to time as well. Jeremy Odenohue also has issues with tracking and also freezing and crashing of the Oculus Quest. Christy Pauls is also saying that she's having issues, however, with pixelation and now her apps are either loading very slowly or they're just not loading at all, which basically means she has a black screen. And by the way, just wanted to mention that when I go from the Oculus Quest to the Oculus Link, now, after I've gone to the Oculus Link the first time, well, same thing, I, I don't see the image anymore, I only hear the sound. So we're back to the same problems 
that you know were there back in the Oculus Quest, I think version 15. So it's really a step backwards. Before I give you my final thoughts, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to view and comment on one of the previous videos, which is all about VD versus Link using Half Alex. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Now I'm pretty sure that Oculus of course must be aware of all these bugs before they even release the things, but they have done something behind the scenes from May 29th onwards. There is a talk of a version 18 on Reddit, which I'll put a link description below. So it's possible that those works, even though my software personally still says version 17, both on the Oculus Quest and also on the Rift version uh, on the computer, there's just all these things that have occurred in the last few days or week or so. So this video, I really wanted to do it as soon as possible to really get the community to rally together. Please write down all your issues below and let's see, let's hope that Oculus could really see all these comments and all these feedback from all of us so they can really start to do something as fast as possible because now there are so many more headsets coming out between the Pico 2 coming out we have the HP Reverb G2 that was released quite a few quite a you know a few days ago which okay it's a tethered headset but it is coming out there's going to be another standalone coming out very soon so Oculus cannot afford to have any bad PR or anyone who criticizes or who is unhappy with Oculus because at the end of the day well, if they can't get their act together, what's going to happen? We're just going to jump ship. It's really that simple. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope that it helped you. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to get your feedback and your opinion on all of this as to what's going on. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality. Because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. And of course, until next time, take it easy, and as always, DJ, take it away. I think I'll try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. I'm getting tired of talking, and I need more of a show right now. It's time that you made your